Hey everyone, it's Robin and welcome to my channel. Today on The Robin's Nest, it is all about stained glass cakes. Now, as some of you may already know, stained glass cakes are my jam. I just love making them so much and I have made a couple of different ones on my channel before. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this absolutely gorgeous fall themed lantern cake. And as an extra special bonus feature, I've joined together with a very talented group of fellow YouTube bakers for a fall themed stained glass cake collaboration. And you can find links to all their videos in the description box below. Starting with this beautiful pumpkin themed stained glass cake by our collaboration coordinator Teresa of Flower Eggs and Yeast Channel and a special shout out goes to her for helping put this all together and making this possible. Thanks Teresa. Then we have this very creative stained glass jelly cake tutorial by the incredibly clever Emily of British Girl Bakes. Next we have another elegant stained glass pumpkin themed cake created with piping gel by the lovely Lorelei of Cakes by Lorelei. This beautiful tall stained glass cake with rice paper leaves by the adorable Becky of 52 Baker. And be sure to check out both of her videos, one on how to make the cake and the other on how to make the leaves. And last but not least, we have Dan with his very cool creation that you can check out over on his channel, Man Cake. So for today's cake, I baked up two 7 by 11 inch cake layers of some delicious cinnamon swirl cake, which I must admit, tastes just like a cinnamon roll. It's so good. All right, so as you can see, I've already leveled out my layers and I've also cut them into four five inch squares. So the first thing we're gonna do today is stack and fill these layers. So I'm gonna take my small offset spatula. We're just gonna take a little bit of icing and we're gonna place that onto our cake board. We're gonna secure our first layer and then we can continue stacking and filling. filling your layers it's time to do your crumb coat so we're just going to take the same small offset spatula to apply a nice generous coat of icing all over our cake and then we're going to use this plastic bench scraper to smooth everything out and sharpen out those corners now once we get everything looking the way we want it to we're going to pop that in the fridge to chill for about 15 or 20 minutes and when we come back I'm going to show you guys how I panel my cakes and fondant So while we're waiting for our cake to chill, we're gonna roll out a nice big piece of white fondant. Now I've already measured my cake and each side is approximately five by seven inches. So each panel that I cut out, I'm actually gonna cut them out just a tiny little bit bigger than what I need. So that way we can trim everything down when we apply it to the cake and we'll get a nice seal on every single corner. Now, before I do any of that, we're actually gonna roll this out and I'm gonna apply my stencil first. And we're gonna allow that to dry for about 10 or 15 minutes before I do any cutting or applying any anything to the cake so that way I don't mess up my stencil while I'm paneling my fondant. So once you've rolled this out, it's time to apply your stencil while your fondant is still soft. But before I do that, I just want to show you guys very quick the stained glass patterns we're going to be working with today. So the first one I'm going to show you guys, and there's two of these because we're going to paint this on two different sides. And it's just a little collage of leaves that we're going to be coloring with some beautiful autumn colors. Now the next one that we're going to do is a daytime autumn scene. We have the sun going down and it also features a nice tree with just a few leaves left on it because it is autumn. And then lastly, we have our nighttime scene. And this one here features a little moon, a nice tree with some bare branches because winter's almost here, and then a couple of cute little pumpkins down in the corner. 
All right, so we're gonna get these into place and then we're gonna let our fondant dry for a little bit. And when we come back, we're gonna start cutting it out and paneling it on our cake. We've chilled our cake well and it's firmed up nicely, as well as our fondant, which we've allowed to air dry for a little bit. So I've gone ahead and I've measured out my panels and I've cut them already. And we're just gonna start by taking our first one. We're just gonna apply this directly to our cake. We're gonna give it a little press to make it stick. and then we can trim our edges. And we're just gonna continue that until we get all of our sides covered up and then we can start painting. Alright, so once you get everything covered up, if your seams aren't as perfect as you would like them, that's absolutely fine because we're going to cover those up anyway. So now it's time to start painting. So I'm going to get some gel food color, some water, and some watercolor paintbrushes to do the job. Alright guys, there we go. Our paint job is finished and I think it looks fantastic. And you guys can leave me a thumbs up if you like it too. And let me know what you think about it so far in the comment section down below. Alright, so it's time to make this look more like a lantern. So I'm going to take some black fondant and we are going to give it some strips on the corners, around the bottom and the top. And we're also going to give it a topper and a little ball to finish it off. It's going to be very cute. Alright guys, our lantern has finally taken shape and I think this looks so good. And you know what? You could leave this just like this because I think this looks amazing just as is. But I'm going to go one step further and be a little bit extra and we're going to fill in all the little black outlines with some black royal icing. Well guys, here it is, my fall themed stained glass lantern cake and I could not be happier with how this turned out. I am in love with it. I think it's so gorgeous. The colors are just so vibrant and it looks just like a real lantern too, which is kind of cool. So anyway, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Leave me a big thumbs up and I'd love to know what you think in the comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.